Okay, let's talk about the lollipop kids. I'm uh, now a little bit more awake. I stopped and got a McGriddle. I got my coffee. I had to buy this thermos. I think my son took all my other ones. He takes all of them. So, I had to terminate one of the lollipop kids. Uh, he walked off the job and without telling me. So, I hired him back and I said, now listen, if you walk off the job again without telling me, I have to terminate you. Well, he wanted to come in and use my bathroom and this is the problem. They're out there, you know, digging in the dirt with shovels and stuff and so they're very dirty and the way my house is designed people like to touch the walls when they come in. I don't know what it is, but um, if I let them in the house after they leave, I have to get out cleaning sponges and wipe all the walls down and because it's a matte paint it's not a semi-gloss or eggshell uh, I told the little boy because they will come in wanting water they want to use the bathroom it gets a little ridiculous and, and, and then they don't work so he walked off the job again and he left his water bottle that I'd given him right in the middle of the driveway so I had to terminate him now keep in mind he's six years old I think um, but they love to sit on my porch because I'm the only one, I think, in the neighborhood that has a porch with chairs. And so I told him the other day, I said, only the permanent employees can sit up here, not the other the other ones who sometimes will help me pick up rocks or something. But um, So I told him the other day, I said, I'm going to treat you like it's a real job. I said, when I tell you to be here at 3 o'clock, that means 3 o'clock, not 3.08. Um, and uh, so one of the little girls was a little mad because I, I, I need her older brother who is stronger, right, to do the, th the heavy work, you know. Uh, she doesn't understand why she only gets 750 and not 10 like her brother. I said, well, because you're several years younger and I think the, the $10 uh, lollipop kids, they work a lot harder. And she, she doesn't quite understand that. So uh, I, uh, she said that I would, she would like to get a raise. I said, well, first you got to prove yourself. You've got to show some improvement. So the minute she gets to the job, to my backyard, uh, she'll stand around and then she'll say, Miss D, that's what they call me, Miss D, have I showed some improvement? I go, no, you haven't shown any improvement because all you're doing is standing around watching your sister's brother work. I said, no, that's not showing improvement. <laughs> so, um, yeah, now they only work for one hour, you know, very rarely do I work them for two because I'm trying to get my stamina up because uh, I haven't worked in a whole year since I moved. Um, but uh, I give them, uh, you know, some bubble gum and some Jolly Ranchers and, um, but uh, uh, I asked him to go get a tool. Like, I asked him to go get, uh, oh, now I don't even know what it is. The hammer with the black rubber thing. What is it? Oh, my God. Now I forget. Here I am making fun of them, and I don't even know what it is. Oh, my God. So when I'm putting in this retaining wall, I had to get that little bubble thing that you put on the string. I had to get a chisel, a sledgehammer to break the um, the blocks if I have to cut one in half, you know what I mean. Uh, I had to get paving sand and then another kind of sand, two different types of sand. And uh, I do have a, I think it's a five foot level. So, uh, yeah, I had to get all this stuff, and um, 
Yeah, it's a big to do. <laughs> now, I gotta get my granddaughter maybe after my angiogram, her and her fiance to help me. If I'm able, I probably won't be able to, but to put together my uh, outdoor shed. They said one, two people should do it. It's a lot easier if you have two people. But I have so many funny stories about the lollipop kids. Um, uh, I had a, I had I had to go in the attic the other day and take down this really heavy uh, rack, this metal rack. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, that was a feat. Um, so, thanks for listening.